Hello and welcome to another episode of Family Food Tales. I hope you've been enjoying this journey as much as I have been sharing the recipes with you. So today's recipe is besan ka laddu. I'm sure you have seen a lot of besan laddu recipes, but this is our homemade besan laddu recipe. So first of all, we're going to heat a pan, add some ghee. So the quantity here that I'm taking is half. Normally take four cups of besan and about one and a half to two cups of ghee, but I'm doing it. I'm cutting the proportion. So I'm taking two cups of besan and about half a cup of ghee. You can use homemade ghee or any ghee that you have. I'm just adding some elaichi kernels. You can just crush it if you want a little bit. It gives a nice flavor to the laddus. I love elaichi. I used to always have elaichi in my purse, especially when you're traveling. You should keep it handy if you feel sick, car sick. It's a very good thing to pop into your mouth. I think that's enough. Now we're going to add the besan. It's about two cups of besan, and then quickly stir it. The trick is to stir it continuously and with a lot of patience. Currently, you can get a raw smell of the besan, but once it's nicely cooked, you'll get to know it will smell so nice. I've changed the spoon because this is easier to stir. And now you can ask somebody to come and help you <laughs> to roast the besan. You need a lot of patience. In our house, everybody loves the besan laddus that I make. Recently, my mother-in-law's friend had gone to US, and she asked, and I volunteered that you know I'll make besan ka laddus for you to take. So she was very happy, and her daughter and her grandchildren loved it over there. Of course, I've learned this recipe from my mother. I remember as children when mummy used to make a lot of these uh, mithai and you know chura chakli during Diwali. It used to help her. And then we used to go, you know, decorate it in plates and take it to the building people. We used to share all our homemade sweets and savouries. It just be so much fun. Even now, you know, when people come home during Diwali, I always give them the homemade things that we make, and they really like it. And it's always good, you know, when someone appreciates your cooking, you get encouraged to cook more. At least with me, it's like that. It's always good when you're cooking this besan ka laddu to have some help. So here I think I'm going to call my daughter to come and help us. Rachu, hello. Oh, oh my God, God. laddu, laddu. Wow, <laughs> smells so good. I know. <laughs> do you want me to do it? <laughs> yes, please. This is the way you teach your children, or rather, get them excited. I think. You know, we used to do that with Nani yeah. when we were small. But this is easy, right? Yeah, it's nice. Keep stirring. It. Stirring it, yes. We need to keep stirring it because the pan is hot, so it's still cooking. Or the other option is that we can transfer it into a cooler bowl, so it stops cooking. I think it's done, now. So let's transfer it so that we can cool it and make the laddus quickly. It's very important that the mixture is absolutely room temperature. You know, should not mix the sugar, otherwise it'll melt. Yeah. And then the laddu is only formed. <laughs> so, what else do you remember as a kid? I used to make for you. Yeah. Let's see if she remembers anything. I think I remember laddu is the first thing that comes to mind is nani. Yeah. And uh, Diwali time, we right. always make laddus at home during Diwali. Laddus and chaklis. <laughs> chaklis. <laughs> it's a staple here. Yeah. But now even I can make chaklis like nani. <laughs> 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 so you've also got to learn and make for your kids soon. <laughs> soon. In our house, everybody loves to eat, whether they cook or not. But everybody loves to eat. We cook also. Yeah. Sometimes. <laughs> yeah. Recently, she made very nice Thai meal. Maybe someday you'll come and cook, and I'll watch. How's that? Yeah. I think now it's become room temperature, right? Yeah. See. Let's check. Check it. Yeah. Touch it. Yeah, yeah, it's cool. Have to make sure it's at room temperature. Add some elaichi, elaichi powder, <laughs> cardamom powder. We're gonna add some um, cashew, cashew powder, and some almond badam powder, and of course the sugar. Let's measure it. So we need about one 
one cup because we took two cups of besan. Gently mix it. You can also use your hands. That becomes easier to mix. I think I'm going to do that. So nicely mix everything together so that the sugar is also mixed well into each and every part of the basin. Mmm, <laughs> it's looking good, right? Okay, so now you're going to help me. Okay. <laughs> we make small laddus at home so that we can eat a few more. Don't roll it too much, otherwise the heat of the hand will melt the laddus. Not bad, right? Not bad. <laughs> Very nice. A quick tip, you know, if you stay in hot and humid conditions, add a little less of the ghee so that they don't melt, the laddus don't melt. You know, see here, we could do with a little less ghee, little, yeah. but it's okay. These kind of laddus are really tasty, they just melt in your mouth. So we're almost done. I've got some raisins, do you want to add some for decoration? You can even put them inside, you can add a badam, you know, half a cashew on it. So what are you waiting for? I hope you're going to go and try this recipe and make them for your loved ones. And do let us know how they turn out. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe. See you soon. Bye.